so today I'm going to kind of go over a few things um, that will help you troubleshoot some of your sensors and some of the issues you might be having, as well as a quick way um, that I use to line up sensors that works pretty much every time. Now a quick way to identify if it's probably a sensor issue is when you go to put the garage door down, it goes down about six inches and it comes back up. Or if it's already down and you try to open it, it'll go up about six inches and then go right back down. Usually that'll mean there's a sensor issue, whether it's an obstruction or an alignment issue. Um, but those are a couple things you can look for. All right, so if you think it might be the sensors, the first thing you want to do is you want to just make sure you have power to them. And a quick way to see that, do that is just checking to see if there's a light on one of them. So for example, there is a light here on this style. Uh, this is an extreme garage door um, sensor, and you'll see the light here on this side. On most of them, you're going to see a light here. And usually you'll see it on one side or the other. Um, usually you might see one, uh, one side is actually lit with a green light um, or a yellow light, um, or you might see it flashing light. Um, it just depends. Your, basically your, your sending sensor, the one that's always getting power, should always be lit up. The receiving sensor um, may have a flashing light or you may just not have a light on at all. And that usually tells you that there's an obstruction or they're not aligned. So that would be the next step is just to make sure you have no obstructions uh, on the in between the beam um, and then we can go to alignment. All right, so if you know there's no obstruction and you do have power, next we're going to just check our alignment. Now a quick way that I like to do this is I'll just take some string here and this will help you with your alignment. And you're just going to wrap it around the bracket here. Just make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I'm going to wrap it around one side. I'm just going to take that string here. Run it all the way over to my other sensor here. And I'm just going to wrap it around there. Now this doesn't have to be super tight, but you want it tight enough that um, it'll give you a good guide um, for your beam light here. Um, so that's something to look for. And now if you're above it, you can actually see pretty much the path that the beam should be following. If it's off, your sensors might be uh, pointing outward a little bit and not following the path of the string or pointing in for in, inwards a little bit or up or down. And usually you can tell that just by kind of looking at the string, string and seeing if the beam is following that path. And then, of course, you can just go to the other side. And again, your string is kind of giving you the path that the beam should follow. And if it doesn't, adjust it. And you may need to adjust it out or up or down, um, but this will give you a pretty good visual representation of where you need to move the string or where you need to move um, your sensors to make sure they line up. All right, so now I'm going to go over a few things to look at um, in the event that you're uh, finding yourself that your door is constantly having problems with, and your sensors are needing to be realigned a lot. Um, now, first, I would just take a look at your rail here um, and make sure it's not loose. Um, if your bracket is attached to the rail, and a lot of times that will be the case um, when the garage door closes or opens, um, if the rail adjusts, that's going to move your sensors in and out. So definitely want to make sure the rail is secured to the wall. Um, and then if you got a bracket here, of course, just check that, make sure it's tight. Um, there's not a lot to check. The other thing I will check is the uh, wiring on the back here. Now, like I said, I have seen the wiring in the back come uh, not completely loose, but it will be um, it'll be torn up or something like that. And when the door closes, um, this wire will move, right? So either this is on either the sending or the receiving sensor. If this wire comes loose, you may get little shorts, um, and then it'll seem like there's an obstruction or that uh, your alignment is off, but it's just this wire coming loose every now and again. So that's, again, not a huge, com not extremely common issue I've seen, but I have seen it a couple times, so it's worth checking. Um, it also doesn't hurt to just check your wiring close by your senses here, make sure there's no issues. Um, uh, if you got a staple too tight or anything like that, it could be causing uh, problems there as well. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching and supporting the channel. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you click that link below and become one. And we'll catch you on the next one.